Indigo Falls by Hollister. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. I just want to do a review today on Hollister Indigo Falls. This is their um, holiday scent or their Black Friday scent um, from a little while ago. I think they have uh, removed this from the site since then. It's kind of interesting that they would do that, come out with a new scent and then just kill it real fast. Um, I sprayed uh, both Black Friday scents on each uh, one of my arms. Actually, I sprayed this one on this one. Um, this one, to me, um, it really smells like if you read a mix kind of like a mandarin orange kind of a smell like similar to a citrus style with like the jake cologne or the jake backbone i feel like it kind of um mixes with my skin a little bit like jake which is good because i do like jake and this was actually heavily discounted um normally hollister clones i think for this size are about 38 maybe they would go a couple dollars um cheaper this was 25 and then uh, they had a lot of sales one sale for 15 and then one sale for 12.50 so you could get that as i mean real real cheap it does make sense because it is very plain, you know, and like this, it has just really nothing special about it. But it's all that matters really is the juice, and the juice is pretty good. Um, I actually gifted this to somebody on Christmas, and uh, I'm hearing nothing but positive things about it. The only thing, kind of, well, one of the interesting things about it, in my opinion, is that it's not, um, I would consider it a holiday scent, and I wouldn't consider it a, uh, a winter scent either. Uh, it's, uh, when you smell that mandarin orange, uh, he even said there was sea salt known in it. The sea, if you know, if I smelled sea salt in it with the mandarin, that smells even more like a, a spring and a summer uh, fragrance. But yeah, that's the only thing I can really say is that it smells like it would go way better for like the uh, the spring and the summer. Hey, I review the most Abercrombie colognes on YouTube, so as many of you know, Holster is basically um, part of Abercrombie, and and it's basically like the same exact thing as Abercrombie but just in a more youthful style and usually a cheaper style so I don't know like I feel like if you were to um, spray these two I probably would barely barely prefer the Alpine weekend um, it just because like I, I spray this a few times on my clothes and I really really like the smell of this on my clothes like when I pick up a shirt or like I pick up a jacket that has this on it I really really do like the, the smell it is a little bit more subtle and um, you, I really think this one has more of like a, a definite smell to it like you're gonna like the way that this one smells if you wafts in the air it definitely smells like you know like you put something on this one it kind of seems like it might be some of the, something that like some sort of like freshness thing like some sort of like aerosol spray or just like something that's not a cologne basically is what I'm trying to say so it smells like it just would come off naturally when you got some like clean it almost smells like a clean like a new car smell to me um, that's just what I get I probably would prefer this one a little bit more it is a little bit more expensive but I could see a lot of people liking this more uh, you can appreciate this one more over time and you like this one more um, right away so I could see a lot of people picking this one over this one but anyways guys uh, my review of Hollister Indigo Falls. Um, they have a sale right now for a couple different colognes, so I might try to get more. But as for right now, all I have to do is uh, is two more of the Oud collections, and then I have basically been up to date on all my colognes. I've uh, kind of been slacking on a few reviews, but I definitely want to get this one out there, and I'm I'm definitely gonna um, try to get the the Hollister cologne set. I think it's forty dollars for four different colognes that. I have all smelled in the store and they all smell good so I could do a review on them and it's somewhat cheap and I could have them in my collection so that's awesome. Um, definitely going to do some more Hollister stuff. I'm going to have to redo, um, redo my review on the Hollister um, SoCal because I just watched it yesterday and it was terrible. Um, I didn't know what I was talking about and the music's too loud and, and it's just, the lighting's not good and it's all this bad stuff. So I'm definitely going to review it again because it actually has a lot of views and it sucks because my reviews are a little bit higher quality now and I want to do the best quality that I can for them. But anyways guys, it's been Josh TV. Hope you all uh, have a good day. See you all in the next video. Bye. Fucking A. I fucking hate this place.